Hi Broncos, this is Miss Aston. I want to take some time today to talk about some of the advanced search features in Google. So here I am on the Google homepage. And because I've already done an advanced search today, I have a link to the right of the search bar that says advanced search. Well, a lot of times this link isn't here. So how do you find the advanced search features? All I need to do is type in the search bar, Google Advanced Search. And it will be the first link, Google Advanced Search. I'm going to click here, and then I get some boxes. These are all filters that I can add to my search to make Google work more efficiently for me and be more specific in its results. There's a section for Find Pages With, and then there's a section where I can narrow down my results even further. Well, I know I'm looking for information about artificial reefs. So I'm going to type artificial reefs into the box for this exact word or phrase. I don't just want websites and pictures that deal with artificial. I don't just want websites and pictures to deal with reefs. I want that phrase, artificial reefs, to be connected to all of my results. So I'm going to scroll down even more and see what other filters I can apply. I'm really just wanting information from this past year, so I'm going to change the last update to the past year. And everything else looks pretty good, so I'm going to click Advanced Search. So here's what Google has found for me on the internet. Websites and articles, images that deal with artificial reefs, they've all been published or updated in the last year. Well, what if I want to be even more specific? I'm going to click the back arrow, and I still have artificial reefs, and I still have my past year filter added, but I'm also going to add another filter for site or domain. Let's say I want to know just what the government is saying about artificial reefs. So I'm going to add the domain .gov. When I click Advanced Search, my results will be narrowed down even further, and all of the URLs, all of the website addresses, will now just be from .gov websites, governmental websites. Well, let's say I'm not really looking for information about artificial reefs. I want images of artificial reefs. Google also has an advanced image search. So I'm going to Google, Google advanced image search. It's the top link. And again, I see boxes. I know I'm in the right spot. I'm looking for artificial reefs once again. And let's look at this second set of boxes. All of these boxes are now specific to images. I can filter by image size, colors, the region, the site or domain. But what's the most important filter here is this last one, usage rights. I want to make sure that any images I use are not protected by copyright. I only want images where the creators have said, yes, you are free to use or share this image, or free to share or modify this image if I were going to be changing this image. Well, I just want to use this image. I'm not going to be changing it or modifying it in any way. So I need usage rights set to free to use or share. I'm going to click Advanced Search, and here I have some results. Once I click on any of these pictures, I might have to scroll down through the website and find the picture. Click on the picture, and at the bottom of the picture, a lot of times, or beside the picture even, I'll find information needed to complete my citation for this image. Well, I hope this information about how to use Google Advanced Features has been helpful to you, and I hope that you can better use Google in all of your research activities from now on. Have a great day.